Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm going to be having a look at another weird set from D-Craft Darts in Japan. And these are the Bomber and it's an aluminium dart, quite a weird looking thing, looks a bit like a beehive. Um, I'll put some more details up in a minute but let's check them out. I think I bought these from Darts Buddy in Japan around about 2015 but they no longer sell them and I've looked on the internet and it's quite hard to find them. I did find them in a couple of places but they were all sold out so I don't even know whether you can buy them anymore. But they had two models, the red one and the silver and they weigh 18.5 gram, made of aluminium and I remember the price was around about £15 at the time so who knows what the price would be now if they still sell them. So these D-Craft bombers come in this little square plastic box, neat little box, got a little picture there on a potential setup, but um, inside it's got a kind of velvet flocked plastic holder holding them in place, but there's no soft tips or flights or stems with these, it's just the barrels only, look a bit like beehives. So that's what you get in the pack. Alright, so I've fitted some Cosmo uh, fit point metal steel tip conversion points on, as you can see. And I've also put some Condor Axe molded all in one stems and flights. And it looks quite nice in that setup. Kind of reminds me of them. Uh, is it the Roman weapons? Is it a plum barter or something like that? old throwing weapons kind of where it looks a bit like that but it's an unusual shape kind of like the cartoony style beehive that you used to see and it is fairly light um, I think it's only an alloy aluminium anodized with this reddy brown color um, not really sure where you're meant to grip it but it kind of feels more comfortable gripping it like that obviously it's really wide and chunky there, but it doesn't feel quite as stable in the grip there. Seems to sit in the fingers a little bit better there. And I guess you could also do it the other way. So, if you were so minded, you could put the point on that side, on that end, and the stems and flights on the other. And then you've got a slightly different balance start again. But that, uh, fit point really looks nice there looks like a, a wasp sting coming out but i don't really find that as comfortable to hold now <laughs> it's, it's weird that all right then let's just uh do the length it's a bit flatter so that's 36.5 what did it say on the box? Yeah, it said 36.5 on the box. And the widest part, this might be a little bit tricky because it's hard to get it stable. So I'd say about 19.96, so depending on how you grab all of it. And then towards the end, 15.9 and then at the very end 6.78 so that's the only part that looks like it's the same thickness as a, a normal barrel <laughs> everywhere else is weird <laughs> right let's give them away no, no I'm not giving them away I'm giving them away <laughs> 18.59 grams 18.54 and 18.54 and if I'm using this setup the full setup will be 22 grams exactly 
Right, this is just for fun this, so I'm not doing anything too serious. So for the first couple of throws, I'll hold it on the widest part, see what that feels like. It kind of feels a little bit uncomfortable already with it being so wide, but we'll see. Rounds away. A bit better. I'm kind of spiraling off a little bit. Uh, <laughs> it just feels weird. It is, it is wide that like compared to your normal dart. Really weird. Oh, I forgot it. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I got a treble. I don't believe it. Now, is it possible to get another treble there? <laughs> I don't think it is. It's nearly filled up the old bed. <laughs> and these points are not very long, so I doubt I'd ever get another treble in that. Oh, what was that? 85 with these weird darts. I'll take that as a triumph. <laughs> but that kind of like sheen corn it's got, it kind of has like a glossy feel, so it releases from the fingers now. It's, it just doesn't feel that right. But the old dart just feels weird. I'm going to try throwing it from the, the rear section where it's a little bit thinner. Oh, that was really smooth through the air, but no way on target. Oh, and that definitely wasn't. <laughs> well, that last one again, very smooth. So, it feels a little bit more comfortable there because you're not on a really wide section. But it just... I don't know, the old shape of it and the, the feel of it. Oh, I've got a treble. Yes, it did. You can't see the points. That's a problem. You don't know whether it's in or not. It's just so wide. Ah, that'll do. <laughs> there you go. Just some weird, fun darts to have a mess about with. Now, can you imagine turning up for your, for your team match <laughs> and you bring them out your bag? <laughs> You'll get some weird looks, I know that much. And then you hit a 180 with them <laughs> and everyone will be amazed. Now, if you're going to hit a 180 with them, you'd, you'd have to put some longer points on than that because the barrels are so wide I mean, you might get two in, uh, but getting the third in is going to be a right challenge. But there you go, just a bit of fun. Uh, it's another weird wacky dart from Japan, from uh, Dartcraft. I did buy quite a lot of the Dartcraft uh, darts years ago, and I think I bought most of them, of them from Darts Buddy. And Darts Buddy kind of went off the scene for a, about two or three years and then they came back. But when I've looked on the site, I can't find these anymore. So I'm not sure, I'm not 100% sure if you can still buy them. But if you can and you fancy something a bit weird and wonderful and wacky, there you go. So I'll leave you with the Gary like normal. That's the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed watching it. I'll see you in the next one. Happy darting. Thank you.